we're here, huh? Thanks, Mark. I really can't believe it's uh, been two years since we had an in-person symposium. Uh, we really miss seeing all of you and uh, for your really networking and sharing and uh, fellowship, really. Um, when we had the pandemic in 2020, we really like set ourselves a task that we had to, had to keep the symposiums alive. So because it, we just felt it was too important to do all the sharing and education. So we realized we had to radically change how we produce content and facilitated all of this. So coordinating with Orgel's leadership, I had the honor of, per, of presenting three virtual symposiums in the fall of 2020, January of 2021, and September of 2021. And we also started oral distance learning around that time in early 2021 to present a variety of webinars and uh, other educational topics. So now today I'm uh, pleased to moderate another symposium here in person, but it's hybrid as well because we're, uh, we have many dealers watching online right now. Um, so we felt, you know, with the online buying event being uh, going on right now, and as well as the dealer market, that we had to make this event be uh, hybrid as well. So. Uh, the buying event opened on past Monday, and it overlaps right now, and it'll end on March 4th. So in addition to streaming this symposium online, one of the other, other important changes this year is that the dealer market workshops, some, several of them are actually going to be streamed online as well, because we wanted to give as much access to the dealers that are not attending so that they could have some of the experience that you're getting here in Orlando. Now, what we learned from doing the symposium virtually is how much education we wanted to facilitate for you. And this was true even when the symposiums were just e-commerce. But now, of course, there, we expanded that to focus on technology that affects your business, such as point of sale, in-store technology, of course, e-commerce, cybersecurity, payment processing, loss prevention, analytics, on and on. Um, so what this means is that I need you to settle in for the next six hours. No, I'm, I'm kidding. There's so much content to cover, so we're really going to pull that out over the next couple of days. So just like we did for the virtual symposiums, uh, we will, where we only were able to give you guys just a little bit of content here, we're going to take that and we're going to have some of the sessions on the dealer market floor. So, you know, we're going to broadcast, we're going to webcast it, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So what have we got in store today? Well, we've lined up what I think is an interesting and exciting content for this expo uh, symposium. So starting momentarily our, is our keynote from Dan Trottencheck, COO and uh, retail consultant for the North American Hardware and Paint Association. Uh, and he's uh, going to be issuing us a challenge, which I think is going to be very interesting for all of us. Uh, after Dan, we'll have a short break, and we'll come back and we'll hear, hear from Will Obishon, CEO of the Obishon Company, about how they're investing in some uh, frontline in-store technologies. Then we'll hear from uh, John Seagreen, who's Orgel EVP and president of CNRG. Uh, and John will give his perspective on the investments that CNRG has made in the lab. And finally, to round out today, I will moderate a session on preparing to go online and the realities of store operations and data. And in this session, I'll interview our Orgel retail consultants, Jim Rivas and Stephanie Lee. Now, like I've mentioned earlier, we, keep, we want to keep this rolling into our dealer market content. So tomorrow, starting tomorrow on the dealer market floor at 8 a.m., 8.30 a.m. Eastern, Mark Hamer is going to give an Orgel Technology State of the Union. And he's going to go into some more detail. He kind of gave you a little preview of that today on his vision for where he wants to take Orgel Technology and Services. So we think that what, what we are planning on doing will generate some more new growth opportunity and savings for you. Now, this dealer market has a treat. On the dealer market floor, we have a live operating install of Fan Builder, Orgel's new uh, loyalty and uh, customer engagement platform. So we encourage you to go to the Town & Country concept store on the dealer market floor and check that out. And another thanks to Epicor, who really helped us get that install working uh, for all of us. And we'll be running Fan Builder demos the entire show. We'll have clinics presented by our account services manager, Aaron Kelly, both Thursday and Friday. And we didn't forget about the e-commerce updates and dealer, e-commerce dealer sharing. It's some of our most popular stuff. I'll be giving the update on the Orgel's e-commerce and data programs on both Thursday and Friday. Uh, and that ever popular e-commerce dealer sharing is going on at uh, Friday at 10 a.m. on the dealer market floor, and it's gonna be webcast online. So I know that's uh, what everybody wants to hear. So that's about enough out of me. 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's presentations and thank you for taking the time today, either whether you're in, here in person or online. We know that your uh, time is valuable.